red revolution where red symbolizes menstrual health and dignity and revolution signifies change and empowerment this is an initiative dedicated to addressing menstrual hygiene challenges through sustainable innovation it promotes affordable and biodegradable sanitary solutions that protect women's health uphold environmental responsibility and foster social transformation in low income communities menstrual hygiene is a serious public health and environmental issue in india especially among low income and rural communities Each year around 12.3 billion sanitary pads are discarded with most containing up to 90% plastic and taking 500 to 800 years to decompose. This leads to soil and water pollution, harmful burning and health risks for waste handlers. Due to poor awareness and lack of facilities, many women resort to unsafe disposal methods like burying or flushing the pads. The Red Revolution projects aim to tackle this challenge by introducing safe, affordable and biodegradable alternatives that promote both environmental sustainability and social empowerment. Improper disposal of sanitary pads poses serious health, environment and social risk particularly for low income women and sanitation workers. The lack of awareness, stigma and limited infrastructure leads to unsafe disposal method. that harms people and the planet there is an urgent need for an affordable biodegradable sanitary products and disposal system that ensures dignity safety and sustainability the following are the causes of the problem limited awareness and poor waste management systems combined with reliance on non biodegradable pads and social taboos around menstruation contribute to unsafe disposal practices and inadequate government focus on menstrual waste and public sanitation effects of the problem health risk exposure of waste workers to infection and disease because used pads contains germs on it environmental damage most of the pads that is produced around the world is made up of plastics and synthetics so which leads to landfills and pollutes the water bodies air pollution to get rid of the used pads people are burning pads which releases toxic dioxins and harmful gases which affects both environment and health sanitation issues blocked drains and toilets due to improper disposal social impact still now many women are feeling ashamed to talk about their menstrual cycle to the public which leads to lack of awareness on menstrual hygiene and reduces menstrual dignity and awareness our project objectives are developing a biodegradable sanitary pads using natural and eco friendly materials instead of using plastics and synthetics and a second objective is to reduce menstrual waste pollution in low income and rural communities by providing affordable and biodegradable napkins and a third objective is to ensure affordable access to safe and sustainable menstrual products for all women especially for the women who are in rural communities and a fourth objective is to educate and empower women on menstrual hygiene and eco safe disposal methods and a final objective is to protect sanitation workers and the environment from the harmful effects of the plastic waste the red revolution aims to create biodegradable sanitary pads using sustainable plant based materials the top layer contains organic cotton with aloe vera for softness and breathability the absorbent core contains bamboo fiber and seaweed based polymer for high absorbency and antimicrobial protection the structural layer contains pla that is polylactic acid extracted from cornstarch for strength and flexibility the back layer contains water soluble biodegradable film that dissolves safely in water or composts this design ensures comfort sustainability and eco friendliness so this is how the implementation of the plan would take place the project is carried out in four key phases in phase 1 research and prototype development using locally available biodegradable materials take 1 to 2 months resulting in an eco friendly sanitary pad prototype phase 2 focuses on field testing in low income communities for 1 month to gather user feedback on comfort 
cost and usability. Phase 3 runs for two months, conducting awareness and education campaigns on menstrual hygiene and waste disposal to improve awareness and reduce stigma. Finally, Phase 4 involves one month of collaboration with NGOs, women's groups and schools for large-scale distribution, leading to a measurable reduction in plastic waste and improved menstrual hygiene. Target beneficiaries in many low-income and rural communities, women and adolescent girls face significant challenges related to menstrual hygiene. They often lack access to safe and affordable menstrual products which impacts their health and dignity. Sanitation workers are also exposed to unsafe menstrual waste, putting them at risk. Moreover, schools and community health centers frequently lack proper facilities to support menstrual hygiene, leading to further stigmatization and barriers to education and health care. We need to address these issues for healthier, more equitable future. Expected outcomes promoting eco-friendly menstrual products can drastically reduce menstrual waste pollution, helping to protect our environment from harmful practices and non-biodegradable waste. This also leads to improved menstrual hygiene practices, especially among women in low-income areas and rural communities as they gain access to affordable and safe products not only does this enhance the dignity and safety of women but it also protects sanitation workers from exposure to the hazardous waste with a scalable sustainable model for these products we can create long-term positive change moreover increasing community awareness and create Encouraging open discussion about menstrual health will help break the stigma, leading to better understanding and acceptance of menstrual hygiene practices and ultimately a healthier future for everyone. Cost of each biodegradable sanitary pads. The top layer uses organic content infused with aloe vera, ensuring skin friendliness priced at 1.50 rupees. The absorbent core consists of bamboo fiber and cellulose based polymer derived from seaweed costing 2 rupees. The structural layer is made up of biodegradable polylactic acid from cornstarch providing strength at 1 rupees. The back layer is water soluble biodegradable film priced at 0 0.80 rupees. For the adhesive and packaging we use compostable adhesive strips and paper wrap totaling 0.70 rupees. The production and labor cost including cutting, assembling and finishing come to 1.0 rupees. In total, the estimated cost per pad is 7 rupees. A small investment for a safer and more sustainable product. So here's our budget overview. The total project cost is 53,000 rupees. This breaks down as 25,000 for research and prototype development, 15,000 for awareness and education, 9,000 for community outreach and distribution, and 4,000 for documentation and miscellaneous. This results in an approximate cost per prototype pad of 3 to 4 rupees with subsidy. Monitoring and evaluation. Our approach includes regular feedback surveys from users and sanitation workers to ensure constant improvement of our products. We will track environmental impact by focusing on reduction of plastic waste. Workshops and community reports will be conducted to measure the progress in awareness and understanding of menstrual hygiene. Furthermore, we will work closely with local health workers to collect vital data on health and hygiene, enabling us to make inform decisions and continue enhancing our efforts for a cleaner, healthier future. The project focuses on empowering women while promoting sustainability. Local production units will employ women from low-income backgrounds, providing them with meaningful livelihood opportunities. Through skill training programs, these women will be equipped with the knowledge and techniques needed for pad making and entrepreneurship, enabling them to become financially independent. Additionally, partnerships with NGOs and government schemes will ensure 
continued funding and outreach helping the initiative grow and reach more communities this model not only supports menstrual hygiene but also fosters women's empowerment and long term social change the red revolution project stands for dignity health and hope it promotes menstrual hygiene women's dignity and environmental sustainability by empowering low income women with affordable biodegradable sanitary solutions it bridges the gap between health sustainability and social equity this initiative is more than a project it's a movement towards cleaner healthier and more inclusive future for every woman every community and our planet